draw a product or disassemble the machine during the heat cycle. The product is hot and under extreme pressure. When the heat cycle is complete, the control will return to the standby mode. The standby symbol will be illuminated. Daily opening procedures. Before performing the opening procedures, check the display panel for any error messages. Scroll down to fault description using the down arrow key. See the operational manual for a list of possible error messages. If a fault has been detected, investigate the cause and follow the instructions on the display before proceeding. Make sure your hands are clean and sanitized before performing these next steps. Prepare a small amount of an approved 100 parts per million sanitizing solution. Use warm water and follow the manufacturer's specifications. Return to the freezer with a small amount of sanitizing solution. Dip the door spout brush into the sanitizing solution and brush clean the door spout and bottom of the draw valve. To assure sanitary conditions are maintained, brush clean each item for a total of 60 seconds, repeatedly dipping the brush in sanitizing solution. Using a clean sanitized towel, wipe down the freezer door, front panel, the area around the bottom of the freezer door, and any other areas that demonstrate a buildup of either moisture or food substance. Replace the front drip tray and splash shield. When ready to resume normal operation, touch the auto symbol. The control has a feature in the manager's menu to enable or disable the auto start feature. When auto start is enabled, the machine will automatically exit the standby mode and start the machine in the auto mode at a designated time each day. This procedure should be performed 15 minutes prior to serving product. Manual brush cleaning. This procedure must be completed every 14 days. Draining product from the freezing cylinder. With the pail beneath the door spout, touch the wash and pump symbols and open the draw valve. Drain the product from the freezing cylinder and the mix hopper. Notice the mix low light on and the mix out light turning on. When the flow of product stops, close the draw valve and touch the wash and pump symbols, canceling the wash and pump modes. Remove the locking clip, mix feed tube, pump clip, and assembled air mix pump. Rinsing. Pour two gallons of cool, clean water into the mix hopper. With the white hopper brush, scrub the mix hopper, mix level sensing probes, and the outside of the agitator drive shaft housing. Using the double-ended brush, brush clean the mix inlet hole. Do not brush clean the mix inlet hole while the machine is in the wash mode. With the pail beneath the door spout, touch the wash symbol. Open the draw valve on the freezer door and drain the rinse water from the door spout. Close the draw valve and touch the wash symbol, canceling the wash mode. Hopper cleaning. Prepare two gallons of an approved 100 parts per million cleaning solution. Using warm water and following the manufacturer's specifications, repeat the rinsing procedure using the cleaning solution. Disassembly. Failure to remove the specified parts for brush cleaning and lubrication will result in damage to the machine. These parts must be removed every 14 days, or the machine will lock out and not operate. Ensure the power switch is in the off position. Remove the hand screws, freezer door, beater, Remove the beater drive shaft from the freezing cylinder. Remove the scraper blades from the beater and scraper blade clips from the scraper blades. From the pump cylinder, remove the retaining pin, mix and lint adapter, valve cap, pump gasket, and piston. Remove the freezer door gasket, front bearing, 
pivot pin, draw handle, and draw valve. Remove the three O-rings from the draw valve. Remove the pump drive shaft from the hub in the rear wall of the mix hopper. Remove the two small O-rings and one large O-ring from the pump drive shaft. Remove the front drip tray and splash shield. Remove the two drip pans from the left and rear panels and take them back to the sink for cleaning. The rear drip pan is only on the model C708 and C716. If the drip pans are filled with an excessive amount of mix, it's an indication that the drive shaft seals or O-rings should be replaced or properly lubricated. Brush cleaning. Prepare two gallons of an approved 100 parts per million cleaning sanitizing solution. Use warm water and follow the manufacturer's specifications. Ensure all of the brushes provided with the freezer are available for brush cleaning. Thoroughly brush clean all disassembled parts in the cleaning solution, making sure all lubricant and mix film is removed. Be sure to brush all surfaces and holes in the pump components in the draw valve hole and freezer door. Rinse all parts with clean, warm water. Place the parts on a clean, dry surface to air dry overnight. Return to the freezer with a small amount of cleaning solution. Using the black brush, clean the rear shell bearing at the back of the freezing cylinder. Using the black brush, clean the drive hub opening in the rear wall of the mix hopper. Wipe all exterior surfaces of the freezer with a clean, sanitized towel. We at Taylor, thank you for taking the time and hope you will benefit from viewing this video.